What's up LFA TV, it's your boy, back with another one. I want to come to you guys because I have a little update for you guys and I'm talking about the SC400 uh, just I want to say that I purchased whoa red 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 so I purchased the SC400 about a year ago and I got it with 180,000 miles and I started buying a whole bunch of parts uh, aftermarket parts obviously have you guys if you guys have checked the other videos but I wanted to start doing some of the maintenance so I, I changed all the suspension components and then I thought after that I saw in that little label on the radiator uh, sh uh, fan shroud you know how they put the little label of last time the timing belt was done well the last time the timing belt was done on the SC400 was at 90,000 miles so I figured it had 180,000 miles when I got it it has about 190,000 miles now. I figured it was time to change the water pump, the timing belt, the tensioners, uh, the pulleys if it needed, um, and all the other good fun stuff in the front. So I found a local guy on the Facebook Lexus page, uh, local, right here in Phoenix, Arizona. His name is Max, big shout out to Max. I actually took the car to him earlier today because he gave me a steal of a price to do my timing belt, water pump, and all the other uh, work that has to get done. Because obviously, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I have never worked on a 1UZ. And to be honest, it was a little intimidating when I saw all that stuff online on the forum. So I figured I'd let someone that has done it before do it for me since... It is my baby. I wanted everything to be good. So the car is actually at his house right now. And I'm on my way to go check on how the work is going. Let's go. So here we go. This is Max's car. Pretty sweet. Actually, I've actually seen this on Facebook a bunch of times. But I didn't know you were the owner. And this is pretty sweet, man. And there she goes. It's all apart. So what was the part you said I gave you? Oh, right here, huh? Yeah. So this seal was seized on there? Yeah, basically. And it wouldn't come out. Oh, okay. This seal. It's real tired, and then you can oh, see man, there's like, like corrosion and yeah. all this stuff. I didn't even know this was cracked to be honest yeah. with you. There's a bunch of residue and there's a nice little hairline right and there. And then I, I always thought it was the hose that might have been like bad and I ended like up... Like this? Yeah, yeah. No, the, the actual the radiator oh. hose. Well, and, or radiator I, I thought hose. the clamps were... Um, apparently I didn't know I had a Supra radiator. Is this from my AMK4 you said? I believe so. Okay. In this cap, it's, this style is MK4 usually. So usually, well basically Max is saying that it's kind of redundant to have both uh, uh, refill caps. Obviously for the SE400 it's on here, right? Yes. And then... And then you have another one here. Which <laughs> kind of makes sense then. And so this, everything's off right here. And that's the master mechanic. If you guys are local, give them a shout out or hit them up. In the bearing and kind of feel like the new one, you can you can actually do it. So you grab the center and then you just spin, and then you're supposed to feel nothing, basically. I have smaller hands. I don't know if I can get. Okay. So if we look at a new one, oh, 
And then you can kind of do, it's going to be tighter, but you right. can still feel that there's nothing. It's just tight. Yeah. So usually this one is the, the most tired. So you can feel like, okay, this one, you can feel the little, the little like yeah, sandy yeah, yeah. feeling. So if the feeling was in this, that means the bearing is kind of tired about to go. So like this, eventually we'll start making noise and kind of wobble. Terribly bad. See how that belt was. When, so in order to tell a belt is good or bad, you can see you can see like the outside. Yeah. So you can see the inside rib on the outside. So see how it's hashed. Yeah. Okay. So the more you can see the hash, the worse the belt is. And then sometimes they dry crack and this and that. But this one, there's no cracking, so it wasn't like super terrible yeah it actually didn't look that bad water pumps breaking new all right max i really appreciate it no check out max's car man the thing's sweet it'd be a uh, future feature right <laughs> all right sir appreciate it well good morning guys it's been exactly about 24 hours. I just want to give a big shout out to Max. Um, I'm gonna link his Facebook page in the description. I kid you not. He probably finished the car within an hour and a half, maybe two. But I'm actually pretty darn impressed because this guy finished it super quick. I'm actually on my way to go pick it up right now and I want to see what his car looks like in the daytime, you know? I'm going to feature his car in one of these videos. But let's go. Let's go pick it up. Hey. Well, she's all done. I wanted to see your car in the daylight, bro. What do they call this? The crash bar? The bash bar? Oh, bash bar. Oh, Dane, did you wrap this? Yeah. You just cut a lot of the way, huh? Yeah. A lot of weight cutting and uh, cut exhaust and break up the grade. Um, the suspension work. Kind of a lot, actually. Are these hard to find? The strip bars? Yeah, the strip bars. Back the suspension side of things. Did you did you like barely finish this? Uh, it was uh, about a month ago, a month and a half maybe. And um, we painted it. You mind me asking what you, so you just have a straight pipe or? Yeah, it's um, straight from, well it's, I got PPE headers on there too. So Cause it has headers and uh, yeah, you know, straight pipe, then X, and back up, right in front of this. Cause I think uh, that's what I'm gonna try to get. Length stays the same. And you do a little toe. Are you in a team or anything like that, or? Yeah. Okay. That's all she wrote so far. She's purring like a little kitty. Everything's running smooth. 
Uh, once again, man, big shout out to Max. That dude's a master mechanic. Um, he actually pointed out a couple of things that I also need to change, which is the high pressure line off the power steering pump to the rack and pinion. I mean, the yeah. So, he told me that the OEM ones cost about like 500 bucks. And he told me to actually get an aftermarket stainless steel one, which is, that's the best route that I'm gonna go for. Or that's my best option, which is only about 60, 70 bucks. So that's next. I gotta go home and do the thermostat because we didn't change it to thermostat. I actually completely forgot about that. Hit up Max. His Facebook page is in the description. His Instagram page is in the description. So uh, hit him up, man. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little short video of what was done next to the SC. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces. Entonces ven y dime, mami chula, ¿cómo lo hacemos?